serious. Okay, serious face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <that's okay. laughs> I'm just kidding, I won't do that. Should they turn that radio off? Is that gonna? Yes. Yeah. I have always found myself to be very passionate about science and you need that because when you face those challenges and rejections you need to have the love of what you're doing to pick you back up and get you back in the lab the next day. A successful scientist needs to be curious, passionate and sceptical. You need to be sceptical to be questioning the environment and the world around you and you need to be curious and passionate to find the answers out for yourself. Another attribute that's really important would be uh, resilience. With science, we're really delving into the unknown and quite often the things that we expect to find in our research doesn't turn out the way we expected and when we're really interested in what we're doing, um, it, it keeps us going. Trying to find a work-life balance. I am a workaholic and I find it very difficult to get out of the lab and actually go have a life. You have to face a lot of rejections. Um, this can be through spinning a paper that you've been working for years on and it being rejected over and over again. Or things like getting feedback from your supervisor on a paper which you thought was really good and then actually not being up to their standards. I think the biggest thing for me to overcome those hurdles throughout my PhD especially is learning that oh, it's not just me who, who got that paper rejected or who mucked up that experiment. I think that's a really important part to learn and that makes it a lot easier when you get to those rejections you think okay this is just a part of the science life and I can move forward from here. Probably the biggest challenge in my role is time or lack thereof. There's a lot of pressure on early career researchers these days to not only achieve really high results in terms of publications but there's so many other aspects of academic life that we're expected to um, fulfill. Sometimes it feels like there aren't enough hours in the day. At the moment I really enjoy research. I love being in the lab and asking those new questions but I also love communications. So at this point in time I'm very torn between pursuing a, a, a full career in scientific research or maybe going down the scientific communications path. But I guess something really good about science is that you have opportunities to do both. I'm fortunate enough to have been awarded a National Health and Medical Research Council Early Career Fellowship and so this puts me in a really good position to now start thinking about what direction I want to steer my research towards. I'm still in the early days of establishing myself as an independent researcher but I'm in a good position to start thinking about what I'm really interested in and where I want to go. Everyone knows someone who is affected by cancer or some sort of disease at some stage of their lives. Um, all of us here are working super hard towards abolishing these diseases and what I'm really excited about is seeing when my research and how my research actually contributes towards this.